Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and I'm here with Heather and AB. Hey guys. And we're back in Sky Adventures picking up right where we left off. Yep. You, you know you know what? I, I don't know if we, we've told the, the YouTube people yet. What? Heather has uh, picked up, uh, we picked up a couple new hobbies. <laughs> Haven't you, honey? Just a couple. All right. You, do you want to tell them? I'm a them golfer about? now. Okay, so you t you tell them the hobbies you picked up, and I will okay. explain what the actual situation is. <laughs> I'm going to become a world-class best female golfer ever. Mm-hmm. That's my hobby. <laughs> okay. And, and I'm going to be a mediocre bass player. <laughs> I believe that those two uh, future envisions should be reversed. <laughs> so, for any of you guys who don't know, Heather and I's, I'd probably say one of our main hobbies. Yeah. Uh, you it's know what? what I look forward to all week. Okay. So, Heather and I work from home. We, yep. we well, we live at home. I mean, because yep. that's good. Yeah. What we do. So, um,. I gotta figure out how to get. Now, do we have Blitz, Blitzes? B L I T Z chickens? Blitz? Um, I don't think so, but we need that one to make that one, so I could quickly make one. Oh, let me see. All right. Um, so, anyways, uh, yes, to make it, we need a Basal's chicken and a Sulfur chicken. Oh, I have both of those. Hang on. Okay. Sulfur. And then I think the rod has EMC, so I really just need one rod to continue on with what I'm doing. Anyways, so Heather and I's thing that we love to do. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, is this an old thing or is this a hip thing? Let us know in the comments. I don't know. I don't know. Pretty much right after Heather moved here, which by the way, has been one year. It has. Heather and I actually, uh, we, we, we hit the, the one year anniversary on the 13th of February yep. since uh, her and the boys have moved here. So we've been one giant dysfunctional family for one <laughs> calendar year now. Um, one of our big things, now Heather and I don't drink. Nope. I don't dance. Uh, so, you know, we eat, but we're cheap. Yeah. Um, no fancy places. Yeah, you know, we'll go see movies. There's nothing wrong with that. We just don't generally do it. So not usually. We, we've seen a few, a handful. But anyway. Uh, yeah, it's but, not like we're like, oh, let's go to the movies. What do we want to see? It's like we plan it out. Yeah. So the, the, the point is, is that for Heather and I, we don't have a whole lot of like date night stuff that we do, right? Yeah. And um, plus, you know, we record at night, we stream at night. Um, I mean, we do that stuff during the day as well, but, uh, but yeah, so basically for us to get out of the house, for us to have kind of us time, mm -hmm. uh, we go to yard sales. Love it. Yeah. On Saturdays. We go every Saturday morning. We head out and, uh, yeah, we go to yard sales and we really enjoy it. Yep. Um, like literally like. That is our. We could date. be sleeping in. That could be my sleep in day. Yeah, because she gets. <laughs> I'm up, up at like. <laughs> you know, six thirty every morning. Six six thirty every morning yeah. to get the boys off to school. Um, I get up on purpose on Saturdays early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like she'll get up and like the boys will get off to school and then they'll be like you know like an hour or two in between when they leave and we we gotta kind of start working. And I'll lay back down. She'll go back to bed. But on yeah. Saturdays, she is up and she is ready to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Heather and I go to yard sales every Saturday religiously. And when it's, and when like, if it's, if there was a point, because it's Arizona, it does we get, we have yard sales year round. We don't get, yeah. there was like two weekends where it was actually really cold and we weren't able to go to yard sales and we were. Well, we mess. went, there just weren't that many yeah. and it like destroyed our week. Yeah, we, we were a mess. <laughs> So, and, and, and it felt weird not going. A lot of the time, we're really not looking for anything. No. Nah. Um, the big thing, I, th I think the part that we enjoy the most is the fact that we don't, um, is the, the savings 
Yes. The, the getting of a good deal. Oh, love that. Yes. Love the getting of a good deal, right? Um, and we, we've gotten some pretty cool stuff. Now, the other side of it is, and this is the more responsible side, mm -hmm. is that there are times that there are things we need around the house that either we don't have or one of the kids broke or one of the kids needs or whatever else um, that we... Uh, that we try and find at yard sales. For example, Trinity, our second our second oldest, yep. uh, is 19, and she is moving out with a friend into an apartment for the first time. She's the first kid that's moving out. It's really rough for me because she's been with me her entire life. 19 years she's been living with me, and now she's abandoning me like a bad child. No, she... <laughs> Abandoning me, just let me. I'm gonna wither Fine, and die. Just, okay. Anyways, is you okay with that? No, I'm just tired of arguing with you about okay, it. Okay, all right. Well, good. good. <laughs> At least we're on the same page now. <laughs> Anyways, and um, so we're completely getting like you know small kitchen appliances and that kind of stuff from yard sales, right? Yep. And we're always looking for the deal. We've gotten we got a slot machine for free. A we got fully, yeah for free. Fully working slot machine. We got a. $280 home security camera system for eight bucks. Yep, and it works. And it works I'm great. At it right now. Yep, she didn't <laughs> see. We gotta, we, yeah, so don't come trying to sneak in our back door, our front door, or any of our other doors. Yeah, the other can see it. She's on okay. it. She, she's got a crossbow and a mean shot. Anyways, <laughs> we, got really the, we got the crossbow, so I mean, there's that. No, we, we, never, we, didn't, we never got a crossbow. Um, I'm sure we could have. Yeah. And so, yeah, that, that's our big thing. So, make me one rod. Come on, I'm waiting on you. Um, anyways, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of our, our hobby. We love it. So, and then, and the funny part is, even if we're not looking for something, we still like going out because you never know what you're going to find. Yeah. And we stopped someplace, and some lady was selling golf clubs. Yep. For eight bucks. Full set. Bag. Full set. Yeah, uh, and they're tees. pretty. They're purple. They're purple. They're they're actually uh I don't know if they're ladies clubs or kids they clubs, look like but it. they're, no, they're, sh they're, they're short. girls. Yeah, they're, they're short. They're girls, they're ladies. Um they're way too short like I couldn't use them. And she But they're perfect for me. Yeah. <laughs> and um got them for 8 bucks. Yep. And that's where the joke started that Heather was going to become a world famous golfer. Yep. And then God, I'm just waiting. Come on, buddy. Hurry up. And uh, so, yeah, so that's where that's right. And then we went to another yard sale the following week, and I found a set of golf clubs, and I got them for zero dollars. The guy was like, He got them for them. free. He was like, just take them. So I'm like, all right, cool. Full set. Drivers, irons, all that stuff. Bag, everything. Yeah. Mine so, had a glove, but it's icky. And yeah, it's no. gross. It's, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, anybody out there who just likes, like, getting out, and it, to me, it's kind of adventuring because, yeah. you know, we're having to find where they're at, and we're having to see what they have to offer, and, oh, God, we're super judgmental when people's yard sales suck. Like, when they, <laughs> when they put up, like, 950 signs, and they've and they got, have, like, like, one table of, like, yeah, three things. Yeah, and, and it's like, okay, a child's left shoe, <laughs> um, some uh, questionable generic ramen... Um, just in Ziploc bags, not even like in their packaging and, and, a, and a one-eyed chicken. Those are the three things <laughs> they have for sale. Um, come on, give me the goddamn rod. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's, it's, a, we, we actually really enjoy it. We, we, mm -hmm. we really do. It's, it's our, our biggest hobby. So we got the golf clubs and, uh, so here is 100% of Heather's golfing experience. You ready? <laughs> we went to the driving range once and every time she hit the ball, she squealed and jumped up and down <laughs> very much to the dismay of all of the <laughs> old older guys. old guys that were really there refining their game. <laughs> she had the same reaction to hitting a golf club at the driving range that I would say a child would have if they were able to get something out of the claw machine at a bowling alley. <laughs> I got the unicorn squeal, jump, jump, jump. So that's what she did. 
Um, but we are, uh, we're going to set out one day and, uh, cause we're always looking like for weird things to do, but Ooh. we're, I mean, we're not going to go hiking or climbing no. or camping. Well, we, we, Gross. we've gone hiking kind of. We walked around the trail on the side of a mountain for about 40 feet. <laughs> that, that was our, that was It was our, the longest trail ever. <laughs> it was roughly about 40 feet and it was very well maintained. Part of it was paved. <laughs> Part of it was paved. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, so yeah, that's our our our, our, our great uh, adventures. Anyways, but all right. So that's part one. There's there's your truth on golfing. Now the second hobby that Heather has picked up. So for anybody who doesn't know, I've been playing guitar mediocrely for about twenty years. I learned about eight things when I was nineteen years old, so that I could play in punk rock bands, and I purposely stopped learning. Um, but I used to have a Les Paul guitar, black and white Les Paul guitar that I loved. And I had a crate half stack for anybody who doesn't know. That is an amp that's, it's about nipple height, roughly about nipple height. <laughs> um, cause I used to play in punk rock bands when I was a, a younger, uh, I was just as bitter, but it was about different things. So there's that. anyways, um, give me the broad and why are you in the negatives? These stupid coops are so dumb. Um, Anyway, so yeah, we, uh, Heather got me a guitar. We found a little practice. She bought, she bought that at Guitar Center. Like she bought me like a new guitar. Yeah, that was very my, new. That was my Christmas present. Yes. And we, God, we buy very little new things. How, how weird is I that? I know. Anyways, and then we, um, we found a little practice amp at a yard sale. Just a little, you know, like probably... I don't know, six inch speaker, one inch speaker, a little practice amp, it's small, you can carry it around, yeah. put it in your pocket, it's adorable. And uh, I've literally just been around this whole episode because I'm waiting for this chicken to give me this rod because nice. that's all I need. Um, let's see what else I'm going to need for this thing. Anyways, um, and then I was trying to teach Heather how to play. Hmm. How to play uh, bass. Guitar. No, guitar. Or guitar, yes. And she was doing fine. Um, she really wasn't digging it. That wasn't supposed to sound nearly as jerkish as it came out. <laughs> uh, she was she was doing well. Okay. Oh, God, I hate this fuse class. I think I just put class in the thing. Um, she was doing well. And so we... Uh, and then I have an old just Fender Squire bass that I've had sitting around forever. Just a little cheap one I got from a friend literally 20 years ago. Still has the same strings on it. It's been sitting in the closet for the better part of my ch children's entire lives. Um, and I was just playing around with that, and she was like, oh, hey, you know, can I can I try playing with that? I was like, sure. She played it for like four seconds and loved it. Yeah, it's much better. Yes, so, so much, because her... her her, her tiny little petite fingers <laughs> have trouble getting stretching to where all the cords go. On the guitar, it's so big. <laughs> um, hold on a second. Oh, oh, it's the right class. Anyways, um, but she didn't have an amp. And seriously, I'm not joking, guys. Like, in the first day, she learned... Oh, I can use hardened glass, damn it. She learned, uh... A couple of songs, just like bass lines to a couple of songs. I had showed her some just goofy little basic stuff that, you know, that I just kind of made up at the time for her to kind of play around with. She's doing really well. And then we went to out to yard sale. Now, mind you, and I want to point this out, <clears throat> other than a couple little practice amps, we've been going to yard sales every, we probably go to 20, 30, 40, 50 of them a Saturday. And we've done that every sad, just about every Saturday since she moved here, give or take, right? Mm -hmm. And in all that time, I'm always excited to maybe find a cool guitar for me, you know, cheap, very cheap, yeah. inexpensive, right? And, uh, or a better amp. Or, or yeah, or a, you know, maybe like a, you know, like a, no, I, I mean, having a half stack would be nice, but but really just, just a bigger amp that maybe has some effects and stuff in it. Oh, my God, give me the rod, chicken. That came out weird. So, um, so, yeah, we go around. 
first weekend, like three days after she starts playing bass, we happen upon the last yard sale of the day. Some guy who, you know, I can relate to where he was punk rock and played in bands and all of a sudden, you know, now he's got a wife and a kid and a house in the suburbs and he's like, well, I can't be pissed off now. I am the man. I, I'd just be mad at me. Um, and trust me, I understand that feeling. Anyway, so uh, he had a... Now, for anybody who doesn't know instruments, a lot of this probably is just gibberish and you can care less, but anybody who does. We found her a... What is it by? I don't even know who makes it. He's going to look. Uh, Hartke. Hart, H-A-R-T-K-E. Uh, bass cabinet with I'm thinking it's four ten four speakers yeah. four ten inch speakers and it's just a cabinet and then it came with a let's see what this is that was too far away I can't read that uh, same it's the same brand you sure I don't know if it yep. is it anyways is. um uh guitar or bass head to put on the cabinet so she's got a like bass amp that can easily play shows. Mm-hmm. You know, not just a little practice thing. Meanwhile, I'm still rocking around with the, the I don't know, Walkman with a speaker tape to it <laughs> that I'm playing with. <coughs> and um, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we've been playing around. She's, uh, we, 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 we write a little song. And then once she gets it down, I make it more difficult for her. And then I walk Changes away. It. Yeah, it's fun. I enjoy it. <laughs> and I'm getting nothing done this episode. Other than the chit-chatty, this chicken is taking straight up forever. Come on, give me another one so it'll speed it up. Anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, Heather now plays bass. I play guitar, so, you know, she says that she's really not interested in, you know, to the point where we get a band and play shows, but just wait. <laughs> just wait. There'll be a point. Is that, is that a threat? <laughs> uh, well, you know, I mean, call it what you want, honey. Just wait. <laughs> I've been there. Trust me. Just wait. I don't think I'm good enough for that. Well, we're not playing a show tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, hell, I don't think I'm good enough for it. Never stopped me for all the years I played in bands. <laughs> so, yeah, Heather is now a bass player. So, uh, it's. I have it's a unicorn pretty... strap. Yep, she got it. <laughs> we went out. And once again. Heather and I just looking for things to be able to, uh, you know, do with each other. Heather and I went out and, um, if I give me the goddamn rod. Uh, and, uh, we went to every guitar store in Tucson. Yep. Because she had been to, like, Guitar Center, obviously, when she bought my guitar. We've been there a couple times. And she, you know, does the, you know, wonderful girlfriend glazed over look when I'm looking at guitars. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's a lot of, like, her staring at her phone, and anytime she hears me stop talking, she goes, that's nice. Um, <laughs> but now, now that she plays bass, now she wanted to go to all these places, and we'd walk in, and she'd, like, ditch me. <laughs> no, you ditched me to talk to your friends. Okay, when we went to Guitar Center, where I don't have any friends, I have friends who work at all the local <laughs> ones, we walk into Guitar Center, and I swear... You this, were taking uh, th too long. This is how I remember. <laughs> I walk in the door, and she just, she, th like, throat chops me. I did Just that. like, like, okay, look at your hand. Make the letter L with your hand. That webbing right there where your thumb connects to, like, where your, your index finger is, that right there, Adam's apple. Just, she's just one no, of those. No, that, that is not what happened. And, and she screamed, you're going too slow, old man. Here's the funny part. <laughs> I was holding the door open for her. I wasn't in her way. <laughs> that is not but she just happened. she throat throttled me, <laughs> and then and then she ran in and she runs in and there's nobody in her way. But she did one of those things like in basketball, one of those head deeks where she kind of stopped and pretended she was going left and went right for no reason. You just make stuff up now. And then, and then so yeah, so she's looking at bases while I'm trying to get wind into my lungs. <laughs> and uh, oh my god, this chicken. And, uh, yeah, so she has a bass. She's happy with her bass, but she kind of wanted to I like things, my bass. So. But. It needs new strings. It needs some pink strings. There are. They're on my Amazon wish list. Oh, jeez. Are, are you talking to me or them? Or really no. anybody who will. Just anybody. Yeah. <laughs> she got a strap. 
And and because before, okay, so it's a black and white Fender Squire bass. It's yeah. anybody out there who doesn't know about guitars, think about a guitar, and the image that pops up in your head is a black and white Fender guitar. That's what that's that's the the generic. You know, it's like when your mom always used to refer to every video game as a Nintendo, regardless of what it mm -hmm. is. Uh, my kid wants to get that new uh, that new Nintendo Xbox, that new Sony Nintendo. <laughs> It's it's basically that situation. Anyway, so oh, this chicken. Oh, 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 I knew from where are you guys coming from? Get out of here. They're coming from your power flower area. No, he's walking over from this area. Let's do we have F seven in this pack? Yes. So, somewhere over here. Anyway, so uh Yeah, so but she, so she got a strap. She had just a normal black strap, and it's got cartoony unicorns all over it. Mm -hmm. So once that got attached to my base, it was no longer my base. I didn't want. You, it. you said it wasn't your Tainted. base when I first picked it up. Tainted. And now she want they actually make Dayglo hot pink base strings. Base strings, they're so pretty. They probably sound like garbage, but I do not think <gasps> she cares. I do they not. They do think not. Cares. You don't know. You don't know, honey. They do not. Please just give me the rod. Oh, these chickens are driving me batty. All right, let's do that. Anyways, and uh, yeah, so hmm. she wants to get a, a, a pink uh, guitar cord. Yep. Which is also on her. I mean, I have a, I have a nice one now. Yeah. So. But yeah, we uh we did a we got a pretty good deal on all that stuff. So now we're always looking for stuff. I'm sure if we found a base that you liked at a yard sale cheap, you'd buy it. Just have a second one. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I'm telling you guys, you guys out there, if you can, yard sales are fun. And mm -hmm. I, I will admit, my mom was always like a crazy yard sale lady. She loved it. She would be the she was the type of person who would be like she still is like that. She is still like that. <laughs> Except she doesn't like getting up early or going out when it's slightly cold outside. So let's go see what Heather's doing, because I am not doing anything. I oh, look at this. Oh, this is fun. This is a lot more fun. Anyways, um, yeah, my mom's the type of person that would be like, should we get this toaster? I mean, I know we have four in the shed, but what if someone needs a toaster? But then she's also <laughs> old, and you could be like, oh, man, uh, do you have an extra toaster? She'd be like, oh, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> that's not true she's always trying to give us stuff oh my god every time we go to the house so my mom has been fighting with me for the you know over 40 years now because i started as a baby as a as a newborn <laughs> she'd be like hey do you want this i'd be like no i want new um trying to give me yard sale stuff and i'm gonna i'm gonna admit i was uh i was a little bit of a wiener about it a lot of the time i was i you know especially when i was younger it was like no and I don't want someone else's dirty stuff, you know? The thing is, if it's gross, don't buy it. We see a lot of gross stuff. Oh, oh yeah, God. we see a ton of gross just stuff. Just be like, you couldn't take a moist towelette to this and just, you know, clean it up? Really? You're just going to put this out here? Oh, this this George Foreman grill still has meat in it. Why wouldn't you take that out? That's that's gross. <laughs> but, um, and luckily, Trend could care less. She just wants stuff for her apartment and doesn't want to spend the money on it, so she's happy with it. But, uh, yeah, and now, ever since Heather moved here, my mom doesn't offer me stuff anymore, but she grabs Heather by the by the pigtails and will just drag <laughs> her in different parts of the house and be like, do you need 28 porcelain dolls? No, mother, we don't. She's like, she's like, come shop in mom's closet, and I'm like, but I don't wear the same kind of clothes you do. <laughs> she's like, she gave Heather, like, 20 <laughs> pairs of mom jeans. And I'm, like, still trying to, like, win approval or something, I guess, because I just took them. Yeah. I'm never going to wear them, but I took them. And I <laughs> Here's my favorite part, though. Can I tell the shoe story? Yes. Because we're at the end of the episode. We're actually yeah, yeah. Here's my delicious. favorite, though. <laughs> so my mom's the type. Okay, my mom is old school Amazon before Amazon existed. If anybody out there has older parents, my mom... From has, been, has been buying stuff through mail order catalogs my entire life. Finger Hut, things like that. Uh, like Sky Mall, but on the ground and, and tackier. And I don't know if I've ever seen my mom go into a store and try on clothes or buy clothes. 
She buys them through the mail, which sounds crazy, except for the fact that all of you are currently ordering something through Amazon right now. Mm -hmm. You were just literally, Amazon is just high-tech finger hut. Yep. Which sounds like an awesome robot movie. High-tech finger <laughs> hut. Anyways. Or it sounds like a robot dirty movie, to be honest with you. Yeah, I was going to say so, no. Yeah, right, I, just, I just clicked inside my head. Anyways, um, yeah, so she gets stuff. And she'll buy shoes online mm -hmm. without trying them on. Mm -hmm. So what happens is my mom has a bunch of shoes she's never going to wear because she bought them through a catalog. Yep. So we stopped by her house and she had some shoes, never worn, still in the box. And she's like, and I think, didn't you need shoes? Or we were talking about getting new shoes. We were talking shoes. about I needed new shoes. Yeah. But and we weren't talking about shopping at her house. We were just, just like, oh yeah, we're gonna stop by the store. Yeah, what I we were doing shoes. the rest of the day. And my mom, the minute you say, I need blank, 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 she, this 70 she some jumped. year old woman she can't dark. she can't get around that well until you say you need something and she's she got like a jumps. chair that lifts her to her feet okay you push the button and 45 <laughs> minutes later you're in a standing position but you say the phrase i need and you just stop she does she does a back handspring off the back of the couch it does like lands in one of those like you know lands like a gymnast and hands in the air and the my my stepdad keeps giving her a score, so he's just egging her on. He keeps giving her nine point five, so she'll try harder. It's it just a scam, anyways. Yeah. So, um, damn it, Clyde. That's my Clyde. Anyways. <laughs> yep. So my mom gives Heather these shoes, and Heather is terrified to tell my mom no. I am. <laughs> Which is stupid, because she tells me no all the time. But for some reason, the the great exalted one, my seventy. Yeah. Yeah. Your mom kind of scares me. <laughs> Why? She's 78 years old. She's mostly rice paper at this point. Um, <clears throat> one time I watched her use a pen and it just fell through her hand. Like she's not, she's not scary. Anyway, so she goes and gets Heather these shoes. And they were fine. They were brand new. And Heather tried them on. They fit and whatnot. And, uh, but Heather really, never, yeah, Heather never really wore them. And then one day, our youngest, our now 11-year-old, he was 10 yep. at the time, uh, his shoe... I don't know. He his like shoe, like, his fell shoe. Uh, It just <laughs> fell apart. <laughs> like, 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 somehow, like, an alien came down and abducted all of the <laughs> seams. And it like, just... <laughs> like, the sole of the shoe just fell off. Yeah. At 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning before he's got to walk out the door to go to school. So, Heather, fast thinking... All right, sweetie, just to get through one day. I'm like, just for today. Wear these shoes, and after school, we'll go get you some. And he's like, all right. And he had no problem with it. She had the shoes in her hand. Now, at this point, I don't think we had mentioned where the shoes came from or what they were. No. He put them on. They're, they were white and blue. Yeah, they I were mean, white and blue. They, they're white and blue. They, they're they're kind of like knockoff shoes. New Balance shoes. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind of unisex a little bit. So Yeah. Anyways, so... Uh, he goes off to school, whatever, and we kind of had a chuckle about it. He gets home, and we're like, all right, well, do you want to get new shoes? She goes, he goes, well, can I just keep these? And, like, <laughs> and, and we're like, what? And, and, and I'm like, you, that's the shoes you want? He goes, yeah, they're comfortable, and I like them. And I'm like, okay. And I felt obligated that I had to explain the situation. I'm like, <laughs> those shoes were given to your mom. Those are grandma shoes. Those, were, those are literally grandma shoes. Not like a cool slang for something old. <laughs> Those are grandma's shoes. He's like, grandma gave and, them to your mom. <laughs> yeah, so grandma gave them to your mom who gave them to you. He just shrugged and went in his room. <laughs> he did not care. It's been about two and a half, three months since that incident. He's, he's, wearing, those, he's wearing those shoes to school right now as we speak. So. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys were entertained by my perspective of the video because I literally got nothing done but run around. But I'm you hoping... You guys can come over here and watch me build I'm, this I, thing. Yeah, she, okay, she, she's building a, a pink pyramid. Yes, you're really... I'm sure you're... Hey, it's pyramid. better than just running around. Hey, I made the viaduct untreated ones. I just need that. But next episode, we're going to viaduct oh the hell out. Maybe we'll put the bear in there. Make him fl fling around. <laughs> It'll be fun. So I hope you guys were at least entertained by the words. This was a good episode to like do your homework or... like play a video game and just listen to the podcast basically at this point Pretty so. much. <laughs> but anyway so you know here's the takeaways from this yard sales are awesome yep 
Heather's a bass player and soon to be professional golfer. Yeah. <laughs> and 11 year olds love grandma shoes. <laughs> That 100% is the takeaways that need to be taken away from this episode. <coughs> so, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comments section. Whoever you're watching, make sure you check out both channels down below. And while you're there, hit the like and subscribe button. If you guys want to come join us, we talked about it last episode. We were super excited about it. Right now, if you come and join our Patreon at a diamond level, you get access to three different Minecraft servers that are open 24-7 that you guys can come play with us and all the other awesome patrons and have a good time. Uh, that is current, starting in March. Not only do you get all of that, but you will also get access to a ARC server and a 7 Days to Die server. So we're super excited about that. Host Havoc really hooked us up on that, and we want to mm -hmm. pass on that fun to you guys. We can keep it for ourselves and just play just within the squad, but we figured, you know what? This might be something fun that the Patreons might like. And we're givers. Unlike this goddamn chicken. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. So, go check out the Patreon link. And like I said, Host Havoc is an amazing company uh, with great tech support, uh, really good prices, and a big variety of different games they offer servers for. So, go check them out. Even if you're just going to browse, make sure you use our link down below. That way they know that you're coming from one of our videos. And until the next episode where I swear, I promise, I'm going to think about attempting to try to do something. <laughs> uh, we want to thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.